Hey everyone, today we're here to highlight a multi-page Python app that includes a large language model built with Dash, Plotly, and Langchain. This app was part of the AI Today community project on charming data, and it was built by Laura, an electronics engineer working in the semiconductor industry who is also passionate about data. Hi, Laura. Thank you for joining me. How are you? Oh, fine. Hi, Adam. Hi, everyone. Happy to be here. Wonderful. Now, Laura, I'd, I'd love to hear how you got started with, with this app project. Uh, but for those eager to see your app first, can you show us a quick demo, please? Oh, sure. So um, this uh, uh, app has two main features and they incorporate, first of all, uh, data visualization about uh, the growing impact of the AI today. And the second one is uh, the integration of a large language model to provide uh, um, AI-assisted insights about the data. Uh, let's say that uh, I would like to create a user-friendly interactive report about the current state of the AI. So uh, let me show you directly the app. As I said, this is the main page and here, uh, we have different page about different topics related to the AI. So it's a multi-page app. For example, this uh, page is related to the technical performances uh, of the AI across the time. And uh, we can have, we have different plots uh, and also we can uh, have uh, directly insights about the data table. That is, I love uh, that uh, collapsible yeah. div. Sure of the data table, you can collapsible, that you use a collapsible div where you can show the data table or hide the data table, really cool feature. Oh, thank you, <laughs> okay. Then uh, there are other pages, for example, let me just uh, quickly show, this page is related to the application, the field of application of the AI, so the AI domains, okay. And uh, for example, we had other plots related to the industry, the increase of the uh, companies working in the AI field across the time. And the uh, last page uh, offers some uh, plots about uh, the society or well, the impact uh, on the AI on the society. And uh, yeah, uh, still here, we can see the data, so we can show the table directly. And uh, uh, with then we have also the second feature, as I said, that just not just the plot, but also the integration of uh, the AI. And the user can type a question in this input field and click a button and get some information uh, elaborated by the AI about the data, for example, used to build uh, this plot. Okay, um, yeah, uh, with regard to the AI feature, let me add that uh, I decided to use uh, uh, Langchain Pandas uh, uh, agent. So under okay. the hood, we have this tool. Um, actually, this tool is uh, um, allows the agents in general for the from the Langchain uh, allows to integrate uh, the large language models uh, together with other tools. In this specific case for this app, as a uh, large language model, uh, I'm using uh, uh, GPT-4, so from right. OpenAI, and uh, that interact directly with the Pandas data frame, so the, directly with the data. So these are the main items of this, uh, this app. Really nice. Okay, so now I know you you had a really cool uh, uh, feature that you, that you use called verbose true or something. Can you talk to us a little bit more about that? Because I remember you showed me a few days ago, and I was like, "Wow, this is this is something everybody should see." Oh yes, absolutely. But uh, in order to to explain better what happened, uh, how the uh, Panda agent works, I, let me let me put in the app in action directly and try to submit uh, okay. a question uh, to the agents. Uh, for example, let's ask information about uh, the data behind this plot. So let me explain uh, uh, what is this. Uh, this plot is related uh, to the uh, improvement of the ability of the best computer playing chess. So uh, here on the x-axis. We have all the years, so we can see the performances across the time. And yeah. on the y-axis, we have the so-called ALO rating. The ALO rating is a, a matrix in order to express the ability of the players. So we can see that actually uh, the ability increase a lot across the time. Okay, but uh, okay. Uh, let's say that the user wants to know more about this data, do some calculation get back some numbers so let's use the help let's ask help to the ai to get uh, to get these okay. um, just an example let me let me paste a, a question so let's type a question here for example this one let's say that you want to know how much is the little rate change between 2014 and 2018 and uh, uh, for example if you want uh, 
to get back not just uh, uh, the absolute value but also this uh, change in percentage okay yeah. so you you need to do some calculation let's make uh, the ai to do calculation for you now so let's yeah. uh, submit this question and let's wait that the agent works so now the agency is uh, performing some uh, assessment some filtering some operation on the on the data set and, and Lara, this is actually what? this is actually a very good question because by looking at the graph, uh, I don't necessarily. It's hard to say the difference in percentage. I can see the difference in in uh, uh, numerical values, but between certain years, to see the percentage, I would have to take the calculator out and calculate it, or hopefully use this agent and and get a faster answer. Exactly. So is for. Uh... All users, so yeah. no need to do the calculation. Um, you can ask to AI to do for you, you know, so it's easier. Oh, well, we get back the answer. So uh, let's say that the ALO rating uh, changed by one nine and seven points mm -hmm. between uh, in this frame, and uh, the percentage change is a, is about uh, five point nine percentage. Okay, so nice. we got back the answer, and it's very cool. But uh, what I would like, uh, given that you mentioned that the verbose mode uh, and uh, the operation of the agents, uh, what is uh, mm, super interesting, at least uh, for me, but it's amazing, uh, it's how the agents work. And you can see, you can have a direct feedback on that. Uh, let me switch one second, if it is possible, to uh, to VS Code. So um, okay. I would like to focus your attention here to the terminal. Okay, and yeah. uh, you can see this green and blue part. Okay, uh, is the um, are the operation performed by the agents? So first of all, let me quickly explain. The agents uh, explain what he plan to do, and then start to do the calculation. So for example, uh, if you are familiar with the pandas uh, uh, function, pandas methods, for example, you can see that uh, here the agents is doing exactly what a, a regular Pandas a user need to do on the data set in order to get back some calculation. So some uh, filtering, selecting the ears and do some uh, some operation. And finally, we got back the final answer. You the can answer. see here is exactly yeah. the same sentence that we plot uh, uh, in the app. So uh, we type, uh, we print in the app, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, so it's, I think that it's amazing because you can uh, uh, let me, <laughs> Touch directly with your hand how the agent works is uh, is doing calculation for you, so it's uh, it's fantastic. Uh, and what yeah. and for and for users that are relatively new to large language models and lang chain and agents, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the difference between uh, the green color and the blue color? What does the blue color mean? Oh yeah, very very simple. Uh, the different lang chain, okay, chain the terms chain mean that uh, you are putting chain a different tool. Uh, as I mentioned before, we are using large language model with uh, uh, pandas, uh, um, with pandas. So yeah. we have a chain, and uh, uh, the two different colors are related to the different uh, uh, tools that operate uh, behind the scenes. For example, here we have uh, in uh, in green are uh, uh, some uh, uh, feedback from the large language model part, and uh, so the large language model print some. Uh, part of this action and then we okay. have this number this number are the operation the values that you are got back from the python agents that is the um. real engine that is doing the calculation it's very simple explanation but is uh, yeah is representative of what is doing we have different tools that work together to come to the final result right right cool 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 well thank you for the uh, brief demo laura um can you tell i mean when looking at this app, I can I can see that it's a pretty advanced app. Uh, but how did you come up with this app structure? How did you actually start the whole project? Oh yeah, uh, first of all, I needed uh, to. Uh... I started by selecting uh, data sets about uh, the project topic. So the role, uh, the increasing role of the artificial intelligence today. And uh, if you navigate across the web, you can find many recent, uh, very recent publication and many open data sets about the topic, but not the AI in general, but uh, the AI from different perspectives. So the impact on the society, technical standpoint, yeah. uh, the impact of the economy, and many more. So it's very interesting also to improve uh, your background. And uh, uh, next, after selecting the data, I uh, decide, I start to implement the visualization. And uh, with regard to the visualization and the implementation of the app itself, I decide to, to go with the dash plotlet because uh, um, 
it helps to, to uh, create uh, easily interactive uh, plots and also quickly develop uh, the, the app itself. Uh, and what is very important is that uh, you can do everything uh, in uh, pure Python, that is uh, super important for me. <laughs> and uh, uh, Actually, using Python is also aligned with the API that you are that you need to use uh, for uh, implementing the AI features. Because, well, actually, Langchain and uh, uh, OpenAI offer Python in different offer API in different language, but Python is one of them. So you can create uh, everything in Python. So for, right. it's uh, it's fantastic and easy. And uh, then with the uh, I also um, I need to to design obviously define the structure and I decide to use a multi-page app to mimic uh, uh, the structure of of a report. So you have different page. It's like a, it's like a magazine. Now you have different page, different topics, and people can navigate uh, uh, from a topic another accordingly with their interest. Uh, nice. In addition. Um, Dash, uh, let me remark that Dash offers uh, many components to add uh, interactivity to your app. So you can find uh, already implemented buttons, menu, and so right. on. For example, um, I don't know, in this uh, page, we have, uh, okay, this plot, but uh, through these uh, buttons, these uh, pagination you can move uh, across different plots uh, right. here we have a collapse uh, you click a button you can see the data you can type questions submit uh, so you can find a lot of components and integrate with python so very very easy easily yeah um now i know you mentioned <clears throat> briefly uh the app structure um can you talk to us a little bit more about the app structure the code structure because i think a lot of people can can learn uh, much from this template that you used Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, let me if but let me switch maybe uh, to the repo. The GitHub repo okay. is public, so everyone uh, is free to uh, clone, explore uh, whatever they want. Uh, well, let me switch one second because uh, in the README part uh, there is uh, yeah uh, I put uh, a schema, uh, I level schema. Let me maybe enlarge a little bit. A little bit more. Okay, yeah, sure. So maybe it's okay, readable. Perfect. It's more readable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I incorporated this schema that provides an eye level picture of uh, the organization of the app, the structure. So, okay, this is uh, the main app. Then we have a different uh, uh, subfolder. And uh, for example, here in the pages, uh, we have the different file with the code to implement different pages. Uh, here we have some utilities in order to easily manage, uh, for example, the API key uh, yeah. to call the, the API. But what I would like to highlight is this folder is components. And uh, here in this part, in this subfolder, I uh, added all the code needed to develop uh, the uh, visualization, the data table, and so on. So here, uh, uh, I have uh, all the um, parts that are specific for this application. But what I would like to achieve is, uh, is uh, to implement uh, a generic structure that uh, could be easily uh, reused for another project. So if you change, for example, this part, you can uh, maintain a multi-page app and reuse for another project. So uh, I would like to try to maximize uh, uh, the reusability of the code uh, yeah. for the future project, for example, in the Charming community. Why not? <laughs> yeah, that's that, I love that, that people can just reuse the structure for a multi-page Dash app. Thank you for, for creating and sharing this, Laura. Now, w when you showed the uh, uh, Langchain uh, Panda agent, uh, I would assume that this is like pretty complex. Like how many lines of code did it actually take you to to write the agent? I know that it wasn't too much. Oh, I know. Um, at, actually, it has been an it's a good an opportunity to show actually that is easy. Uh, integrating uh, an agent uh, and they use the API is just a matter uh, of a few lines of code. Uh, well, after reading the documentation, you can easily understand how to do all the complexity of the of, the, of using calling the different tool that are behind the, the API key, the API uh, call. So, for example, uh, let me show the, the code. Uh, let's focus on this, okay? So, this part. Here, uh, you have the input field, you type the question, and you click the button and get inside. Okay, let's jump on VS Code and uh, look directly at the, the lines of code that implement this part. Okay. Let's switch the application. For example, here, no, okay. 
okay we have all the code here to implement the page and uh, okay here we are in the the part that i showed on the app so here uh, the question as to the ai here we have the input so we have the input and uh, uh, the button to submit the question what happened let's say that the user type a question in the input field and click a button so this trigger a callback so a function that uh, um, implement the agents and start mm -hmm. to, to, to play with the data. Okay, so let's jump to this function, this callback. Okay, so the callback is this one. Let, let's keep the detail, but what I would like to highlight is the core of this callback. So yeah. here uh, we call, uh, uh, we define the large language model. So we say that I want to use uh, GPT-4, okay. And uh, uh, here we select the data set. So let's say that uh, I want to analyze uh, this data, okay. And then we initialize the agents. You can see that we, you can define the agents with just one line of code. But let me explain better. Here you initialize the agent and you pass to the agent the large language model, chat, we define here the data set that we select and uh, some uh, attributes, some parameters here, for example, verbose, because I would like to print uh, the output, uh, the operation of the of the agents, yeah. the ones that we showed before. And uh, then, uh, OK, inside this if statement, um, OK, we uh, assign the, the value. The value is the, the question that comes from the input field. And uh, yeah. so we assign the question and we pass this question to the agent. OK. So when uh, uh, we click a button, we come to our question. Our question is passed to the agent and the agent start to do the calculation. So this green and blue stuff here, okay? And then we got back the response. Um, and then uh, the, this function return uh, the response and uh, we print, uh, this is what we print uh, in the output field uh, in the app. Uh, yeah. One more technical detail, uh, the output uh, of the agent uh, is uh, dictionary so mm -hmm. you have a different key in this case i'm just interested in printing uh, the the final output so uh, i select uh, the key output and this oh. is actually the english uh, that we print english but uh, let me say that uh, i submit a question before in english but uh, uh, you are using a very powerful large language model so you can type and submit your question in a different language. For example, in, I have some test cases that I type in Italian and uh, no one speak Italian, <laughs> very few people speak Italian, <laughs> but actually the large language model is very cool and reply me very polite and perfect Italian. Super. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, Laura, thank you so much for uh, demoing your app um, for us. Uh, thank you for participating in the Charming Data AI dataset project for the month of February. Uh, this month, we have the uh, Colombian wildfire uh, projects that you and a few other people, I think, are, have already started participating in and working on. Uh, and anybody else here who wants to join the Charming Data community to check out Laura's uh, app, to check out uh, the code and uh, other projects that we have going on, uh, just join us, click on the login button or set up button. And uh, this is a complete open and free community where we can learn Python and AI together. Laura, thank you so much. I appreciate you joining us and talking about your app. And I'll see you in the Charming Data community. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Laura.